Hey, it's Anfa, and today is rusty knife time because another package has just arrived. It is a new microphone. So I haven't been making videos for quite a few weeks now. Uh, the last one was UV12, a Helm uh, overview and tutorial or making music with Helm video. It was quite long and it had quite a lot of buzz around it, like people liked it. I, I was a little bit surprised that it was so nicely received and I actually wanted to make a follow-up. I tried it and I failed miserably because halfway through editing, not recording, but editing, I realized that my audio is badly distorted and it's just unbearable. So I just binned that and I said, okay, I need to solve my audio troubles. Uh, some people started pointing out that this little buddy, this little no-name microphone doesn't sound particularly good. And as I'm trying to bring the whole technical and meritorical level of these productions up all the time, I said, it's time to do something about it. So I, I did the thing that I was considering for many years and I finally made the decision to do it and I ordered a Shure SM57. Why SM57, not SM58? Uh, if you don't know, SM58 is the vocal microphone. It's the one with the bulky uh, pop filter on top and uh, you know, the the thing. Um, but um, the SM57 is more of an instrumental microphone. However, some people also use it a lot for vocals and it's even used as a standard microphone for USA presidential speeches. Okay, never mind. I ordered that thing. And it's here. We're gonna unbox it and see how it goes. There's also something else in that box, uh, but I'm gonna talk about it when we open it. And what I want to talk about before that is while I was away not making videos, I've had a lot of things to do. And one thing was to put together a new PC. I was hyped to see the AMD Ryzen processors emerge and that they are very reasonably priced. And I've also seen some Linux benchmarks and I said, that works. Let's get one and build a PC. I was, why did I want to build a PC? Because for the past, I don't know, five, six, maybe seven years, I was doing all my work. Maybe I'm exaggerating, maybe just five years. I was doing all my work, all my productive, creative, all stuff for the clients, the freelance, and sometimes even my daily job when I didn't have the tools at the, at the place I was working, on the laptop. And it was two laptops. One was the Asus and another one was a Dell. And I still got the Dell because it's in a good shape, it's working, but it just, doesn't have the juice to, you know, making big audio projects with tens of tracks uh, in ardor, because LMMS can handle tens of tracks, even on the laptop pretty well, but, you know, it, things get stuttery. It's not helping to get creative. So I said, it's time to scratch that itch. I've saved some money. So I said to myself, it's time to build a new PC and let's build it with this guy. So. It's finally working. I have, I've had some quirks to work out. Uh, I didn't have Ethernet. Ethernet? Ethernet? I didn't have Ethernet support at first. I had to install some driver and that... But the most important thing was the anti-feature called Secure Boot. And it was enabled by default on the Asus Prime B350M-A motherboard that I'm using. Then there is no easy disable switch. So you have to do something that feels like a cheat code in a game and that really gave me a headache. I was 95% sure that this motherboard is simply broken, that it can't run a system because things start to boot and then they go, something's wrong, we can't read the data, something's messed up, ah! like it looked weird, really weird. It looked to me like a hardware failure. No, it was a feature, secure boot. So secure you can't fucking do anything with it. 
Right, so may I ask you, Asus, please give an easy disable switch. So the PC is running after solving the secure boot problem and installing the, the network driver. Everything went smooth. I installed the default NVIDIA drivers because I have a, I have Ryzen 7 1700 in this machine, 16 gigs of RAM and an NVIDIA GTX 1060 with 6 gigs of RAM. I have two 1080 monitors right now. Uh, finally, I have a lot of space to view and edit content. And I did, that, I did some tests. I can record gameplay video with 2.5K resolution, capturing 60 frames per second. So I should be able to capture some nice footage for you. I think the, 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 the upcoming videos on Anfa Vlog are gonna be fun. Also much more fun to make with the new hardware. So, let's get cracking. So I ordered this from a, a lesser known store in Poland that I already bought something from, so I know that they exist and that they, they deliver, but they didn't reply to me for like two days with anything. I, I just got the email, oh yeah, we got your query, uh, we're processing it. And so I sent the money and I didn't get any reply. Did, did you get my money? D didn't you get it? I checked on their webpage and they said, oh, it's not paid. So I wrote to them like two emails and then finally they, they woke up and wrote to me that, oh yeah, yeah, we're processing, it's paid. Okay, we're sending it out. a bunch of foam here. I, I I don't know why this box is so big. Alrighty, so this is the SM57. We're gonna unbox this soon. Ah, and there's another box. I was wondering, why is that box so big? I just ordered two tiny little things. Why such a big box? <clears throat> The more you know. So this is A2WS um, windscreen for SM57. And apparently it has a screw. So it looks like it's mm, hard mountable. Well, interesting. We're gonna get to that soon. Let's first, first let's open up this. <clears throat> okay, that was a desk lamp falling, but it didn't break. All right, since we have that in place, let's see what's in the inside this box. Dear, well, I have a huge sure sticker. I guess I can stick it on my eyes and mouth. Uh, a ton of paper. Oh, some cable Velcro tie. And this legendary sweet little leather sleeve and some papers. And on to the main dish. This is the wonderful legend, wait for it, dairy microphone. Well, it's funny that they put it right into the mic uh, grip. Yep, that's it. That's my first Shure microphone. I never owned one. Sweet. Let's put it on and listen how it sounds. And uh, I'm putting the sound through a lot of processing to make it a little bit better. I'm compressing, de-essing, equalizing. I was gating a lot, too much, apparently. Uh, I, I disabled the other gate entirely for this video. And I'll probably try to disable it for good because it sounds bad. Why did I order an SM57? And why don't, why don't I use um, some big cardioid mic like this? Uh, sorry, a big condenser mic like this. Because condensers are very, very sensitive. And they are very sensitive from up close, but very sensitive from the distance also. And what I probably do is play sound from my monitors and listen to that and talk at the same time. And I need to capture that because Sitting in the headphones, I'm already sitting in headphones all day at work, so I don't want to sit in headphones when I come back. 
That's why I need a dynamic. Let's see. I'm gonna unplug this one. One, two. So that is, that is sure SM57. Uh, directly replacing this, uh, <laughs> this first Austria, no name Mike. I was serving me for so long and no more. And this is the windscreen, we're gonna need it because this mic doesn't particularly have a windscreen on its own. Oh dear, that is really thick cardboard. It's not giving up. Alrighty. Man, this is packed like a tank. Maybe they pack it this like this so you, you can't return it when you when you open it up because Wow, this is funky. Okay, so this is the little tiny screw. So whoa, <laughs> things are falling. So that's the A to W S. There's some loose part here and and a little screw. So I guess this will mount on to I see. You can you can actually with that screw, you can put it and secure it at any particular place you want. So there is actually empty space between the the the, the, the end of the foam and the start of the microphone. Probably should get a screwdriver. I'm just going to try use my fingernails. Righty, uh, will this come in? All right. Oh, that's gonna sound terrible to you, I'm sure. I don't even have to guess, I can hear it. Because I have monitoring on. I think it might be a little too loud even. Because I can... I think that there's a little bit of reverberation. Well... Uh, if I let it go, it just falls down. Uh, <clears throat> I have a little bit screwdriver. This is a bike kit. Uh, it's not meant for something that's so tiny. Maybe it's gonna help me out. I wonder where this actually is. Wow, I had no idea this is so complicated. Now let's just screw this in. I think it's starting to lock down. Yep, kind of stabilizing. It's not completely secured yet, but it is more or less. And ah, uh, ah, uh, am I distorting? Nope. Ah, <sighs> the smell of a fresh foam pop filter. <sighs> okay, so now I know why this is a dedicated windscreen, because it is designed to perfectly lock on the disc. This thing. I have no idea how that sounds. Uh, I'm gonna hear it when I play this back. <laughs> so you probably enjoy this microphone already. I, nah, I'm not enjoying it yet because I can't hear how it sounds. And also, I have this whole bunch of processing, the EQ compression and stuff applied that's probably really badly messing with the sound. So it, it's probably gonna sound much better when I just set it up properly and get this configuration on. All right, I think that's that's all for this video. See you again in next videos. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this microphone or Ryzen 7 and Linux, or have any suggestions for what I should talk about in the next videos, leave them in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Now I think I'm gonna capture some B-roll to fill in the spaces of this whole mess in my desk and maybe the PC also. Hold on, I need to pick up the camera.